crazies it is that time it is me crazy knock and uh, today i'm going to be going through all my thoughts ranting about multiverses the good the bad what do i think we're just going to go off the top of my head from the heart i don't know how this is going to go it will go shitty maybe maybe it could be up to 20 30 45 minute video who the goddamn knows, but I'm gonna try to go in sections. Let's go! All right, crazy, so I've been playing for, what, two, three weeks now, and my overall thoughts of the game, if I just had to stay like, get to my head, tell me, tell me what it is! Tell me what you think about it! I would tell you, I miss the old beta! I miss old multiverses and what it used to be, what it used to represent, and why we all fell in love with the game. I truly do, and that's how I feel every time I open this game, and with the issues that it has, that's how I've always felt, is I do miss the open beta. It's just a little bit more fun to play. I don't know exactly what it is, just the movement, the freedom of expression. That's probably the biggest thing is like, I can actually move around the way I want to. I'm not constricted by other, these movements. This is my overall thoughts. Uh, the currency, I feel like they ruined the currency. I don't, it doesn't feel as special to me. The gold was cool because you could buy in-game cosmetics. Uh, I think the events were cooler because it was all themed. You could collect candy corn, you could all do all that stuff. And it just felt more like an event rather than these events that are just glorified chore lists. Do, uh, do I enjoy this game? Yes, I do enjoy the game. But ultimately, to me, it just feels like another... You could say it almost feels like an alpha or a brand new beta. I am a little frustrated with the devs, I'm not gonna lie. I, it feels like they took our feedback and didn't even use it. They rebuilt the entire game, which we didn't ask for. That wasn't part of the feedback. And they changed a lot of the game's core mechanics, which we also did not ask. And we asked for so many things I feel like they didn't less listen to. To feel as a consumer for the game who paid $100, did I need to pay $100? Absolutely not. But I have to make that clear, but still feel shitty that that happened. Do I believe Multiverses in its current state can be a lot more fun, a lot better game if they do actually listen to our feedback? Yes, I do. I think, I don't think it will ever be the beta, the first beta. <laughs> but I do think it can be a new game that we can learn to adapt and love. Right now, in its current state, I'm disappointed. And this is me from a beta player comparing it to the, what, the original experience I had overall thoughts there's a lot of details that we're going to go into if you care to listen and now that my it's on my mind we'll get through a lot of stuff but since we just played the insanity rift and all that our rifts are on our mind are the rifts a good idea to add in the game i think so i think the rifts are a good idea did they implement the rifts well absolutely not they did not implement the rifts very well do they have another core foundation of the rifts i think so but it's like it always feels like they're all always have a foundation where it's just nothing is ready nothing is complete are the different difficulties a good idea yes now when i go and play the rifts am i excited to go play the rifts and experience all these levels no not really not after i experience maybe one or two rifts it gets pretty boring after a while one thing with the rifts is that bringing another player into battle, that feels trash. Forcing you to play uh, with a friend, forcing you to play different skins, different types. Like for Morty example, you have like an animated human, but then you have a villainous because he wears the different variation. Like, and then forcing you to play those certain things, it's not fun. It's not fun uh, to replay something. It is not fun! It is not fun! There's no sense of replayability in the rifts. They are easy, they are boring, they're repetitive. There are a few that are unique and can be fun, but overall, it's just like, all right, going to the next one, going to the next one. And then on the bottom right, all the rewards I have for they have to offer me is the bottom right boxes, which give me gem XP, which leads me into gems. Gems are trash, and that is generous. Is it a good idea to have that kind of system? I think it can be. So you go and play and you level up these gems. Since there's the modes, you got purple, chaos, the green, digital, and red horror. So those are the three types. In order for them to work, you have to use those gems in that same color. One, there's no gem sets. So it's really annoying as shit to be like, oh, but there's a uh, green ones, the digital, like, okay, I have my green gems. And then you go to a red one and they're like, oh wait, you don't have the right gems. So you have to have red in a green horror themed. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like there's no per there's no gem loadout, so it makes it shitty. 
me as a player playing this, I don't even think twice of what gems I'm putting on. So I'm like, all right, oh, what's the highest level? Seven, okay, seven, uh, uh, seven, okay, eight. And then I just put on the highest level. And then you go look at what the gems do. 900% defense. Oh, tiny projectiles, 900% attack, 220% defense. Could you be more boring? Like no creativity here whatsoever. I don't know the perfect solution to this. It just feels like this is a requirement. That's all I have to get a reward is level up more gems. That's my reward for doing riffs is to get experience for my gems so that way I can do more riffs. Holy shit, who thought of this system? Instead of gems, I'd ha like to have more perks that like change my ability and moveset. And maybe rather than just doing one random rift every time and it feels like it restarts, like I'm building onto the, the epic adventure. Or maybe as I go on, it's almost like a roguelike to where when I go here, oh great, now I get to choose an upgrade. Oh, this perk, not 900% damage, that's boring. Even when I have 900,000% damage and I go to the max level, which is recommended gems for that level, I do like zero damage. So they're encouraged me, encourage me to only win by cheesing. It's unbalanced. So that's one way, just right off, right off the top of my head. Big forehead too, look. Make it so it's a roguelike going through. Oh, I beat Jason right here. I go up or down, I get to choose a reward. Do you want your up special to maybe have a more stun lock? Or do you want it to like do rapid fire? Like it changes your abilities, you know? Like you're almost building your, you're making your build. Also speaking of the fork, like the different ones, all, all that makes me feel is I have to go back and do this one. There's no reason just make it one after the other like i don't get it so that would be cool too make it so when you go off a of fork you get a cool reward a really cool skin or a banner like hey you don't have to do this to complete the boss but if you do this difficult content you're gonna get rewarded for it you should get rewarded anyway but there should be optional ones the last things i think is they have some cool modes the jump rope the target the, like the cannon shooter like the tower defense or the Protect the crystal, you have to do all that stuff. I don't mind that. I think that's kind of cool. I do not think they should be weaved in the rift. It doesn't fit. This should be its own mode. One, it's just half-assed. It's boring. It's not fun. It's not difficult to get these. Like, I, I literally just tried that. Does anyone think that is fun? Maybe for a five-year-old just starting the game, sure. And it doesn't really change on either of the difficulties. Like way back when, uh, I don't know which is a Smash Melee or maybe on the 64. I can't remember. I think it was on the 60 N64, where each character had its own course for targets. I want those to be individual game modes with leaderboards. That would make it so much more meaningful with its own rewards. I think that's all I'm gonna say on uh, the rifts. I kind of said what I need to say. Um, the battle pass. Overall, the battle pass, the rewards aren't bad. The word rewards aren't terrible. This is terrible. Putting gem XP in a battle pass, which has nothing correlated to that, is trash. Getting perk currency and fighter currency, maybe fighter currency, but like I, th I just think we'll get into currencies. The currencies are bad. I think the skins are good. Some of the knockouts and all that stuff. You know your typical battle pass. But they did release with no XP gain. Which I have to mention, you can say, oh, they edited it now, where you get 50 XP for a win, 25 for losing. I don't give a shit. Like, sure, that's great. I'm glad they added that in. But I'm not going to be like, yes! Yes! Thank you, PFG, for listening to me. They had the feedback on season two. Like, that was a bad season because it took forever. And then they took that feedback and made it so you get no XP for playing. But they changed it fine as whatever my problems aren't focused on the battle pass when i think about this game so the battle pass it is what it is get rid of the boxes get rid of the currencies i do like that you gain gleamium uh they did give it everyone free the battle pass i will say for overplayed that's nice free to play game i understand that some character i'm glad that all characters are not locked behind a battle pass that would be shitty if it's just one so be it you know it is what it is would i prefer it to not be that way sure Events. Do I like events and the idea behind events? Absolutely. I think events can be really fun. I think they can be good. Do I like... Oh, speaking of that, I got my 15. Agent Smith two weeks early. They give no detail on when that will be. They just say two weeks early. You think, you think to yourself, wait, I can get it right now? No. 
You can't. It's locked behind rifts. Weeks and weeks of rifts. We don't know exact day that it'll be released. We don't know anything. I hate that design. It's pretty shitty feeling, not gonna lie. They could have done it in such a better way. You do get it for free. That's cool and all. And then you have the login. I'm okay with the login. I'm okay. They did make the mistake of taking it off right when it ended, not even accommodating for people who can't be there one day. Like one day they miss and you couldn't get it. I'm glad they remedied that and brought it back. Uh, the top dog challenge that you may have known, I didn't mind that. I think they could have made it so the top five would have gotten top dog or something. I don't know. It was just stressful. It was just stressful. I got it, but I don't even want to do it anymore. This Rise of Jason stuff, it's just glorified chore lists, as I said. It doesn't feel good. I get a little bit of Battle Pass XP, Fighter Currency, and this skin. It's like, it doesn't feel like an event. It just feels like a glorified chore list. It doesn't feel fun. Make it unique. Release a map. Sexy Potato gave the idea of like, what if you had the event and you had to go play a certain game mode where it's like all spooky and maybe there's a few jump scares, but then like you have to fight Jason, but then there's like sleeping bags falling down from the sky. And like, if you get, if you fall into one, Jason, it goes into like a cutscene, and like Jason freaking grabs you and hits you with a tree or I don't know, just something to make it feel more like an event. That's another thing. Why do I have to, there's so many things to claim. I like, I'm not gonna, me as a player, I'm not gonna be claiming this. Just give it to me. Another one that rewards you for your character levels. But guess what? All the previous levels that you did, fuck you. It doesn't work. And it's just another way to force you to play, to feel like you need to get the battle pass XP. Oh God, more missions. Win while playing a villainous character. Like, oh my God, it's the same shit. There's nothing new, it's not an event. It doesn't feel like an event at all. All right, I'm done with the events. I don't mind dailies, I don't mind weeklies, whatever, I get it. But there's too many, too many gatekeeping, too many, just so much. All right, the store. The store is underwhelming. I'm not sure how you fix it properly, but it is underwhelming. They don't even like advertise new stuff. Like I just bought the Arya skin with the American explosion and it doesn't even feel I was like, oh, I found out found out that I could buy that through the rifts. Like it should have popped up like, hey, for the July event. But no, it just like gets added randomly. Like these, all these new skins. I'm really, I'm kind of unimpressed with most of the skins. I thought there'd be way more. Buying toast, trash, scummy. Just, all right, prestige store. I don't like the prestige store. I think it's a good idea to add it in. I don't like it. Do I think the skin is trash, the Joker skin? Absolutely not. It is a very good skin. That's one of their good ones. Uh, Harley. Quinn skin is good, but why are you putting Wonder Woman summertime skin in the shop, but this one in the prestige? Because you're lazy and you couldn't think of anything else. You, you just put random skins inside the prestige store. It does not feel a prestige. It feels boring. For example, you see this Shazam knockout? I give it an example of this. And then you get this one in the battle pass. Is it the same one? No, but it's very fucking simil similar and it just doesn't feel, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel prestige. My example is make the prestige themed skins, like an emo of the prestige icon, like and making a sound like, oh, ah, be like more unique where the other emoticons don't make noise. Make a prestige aura effect on your character where it's glowing behind you. Make a stock explosion that is just, just explodes with the prestige currency or whatever. Do you get what I'm trying to say? All right, that's another thing I'll go over as well. There are so many goddamn things that they put in the game in the open beta, and then they remove those features. A lot of people argue, I've heard people argue, they didn't remove them, they just didn't have time. I don't give a shit. They have promised things. They said they were making things better. They made the decision to release it without those features. And they know goddamn well a spectator mode is one of the most more pinnacle features in a fighter game. Like that is ridiculous. This game is being carried by tournaments and stuff, or at least a big chunk. And you don't have spectator mode. That is insane. Yes, they are adding it, but I have to share my frustration. My controls, I don't have some of the options. We don't have the input buffer settings. We don't have the neutral dodge button. We don't have the swap, like a special and attack button or whatever that is. There's like so many of those options missing. Why? Well, I guess they didn't have time for it. Are they adding it in? Yes, which is good, but my god they had time they had time to add in a dc feature where i'm disconnecting not everyone has my problem which i've tried everything and i have no other problem in any other game where i just randomly disconnect consistently 
And then I go back and see that I can't play for three minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, like 45 minutes. And then it was like up to three hours that I got banned because I, it's out of my control. If I go in the top left, these are all the training options I have. Like I, like I don't understand. There's a, just so many less. I was expecting more features, not features to be removed. It feels fucking shitty. It's shitty. I have to express that. Crazy not crazy. I'm gonna add those features in, okay? It's free to play. Give him a break. Come on. Don't you know how long it takes for Unreal Engine 5 to be added to this game? It takes a long time. I don't give a fuck. They had the release window. We didn't ask them to do all that. So it pisses me off. Yes, it does. It's like, I'm sitting here excited for your game and it feels like you didn't hear my feedback. They keep saying, oh, your feedback is invaluable to us. What feedback? Give us give us a clue of what feedback you're looking at. Because there's a lot of feedback that just in one ear, out the other, or they don't see it. Tell us which ones you're focusing on. That would be really nice and helpful. They did have a nice tweet, their kind of plans, but that's what I'm expecting. Some people say, Oh, you, they don't even have to tell you that. Dude, I'm a consumer of their game. It's like telling the boss saying like, oh, why do, why do you uh, check up on your workers? They're, would you not think they're working? Such a stupid mindset. Yes, of course the boss wants to know what uh, his employees are doing. And yes, the consumers are in a sense, we're the boss, you know? We pay money to keep their game afloat. So yeah, we're kind of the boss. Perfect analogy. Uh, fighter balance. I think it's worse balance than it ever was in the open beta. One thing I will say is they added the net code and it does feel a lot better. It's not perfect still. Ability is going through. You dodge and it still says it hits. Things like that. There's some bugs. As you can see, without fail, my laser goes through the floor and doesn't count this as a platform. Also, that's another option in training. I can't have no cooldowns, which you could. Let's see if I can make it this why am i not going through i get stuck on the edge some maps are worse than others uh i don't know if i'll show footage but there's many instances where there's the hit sun is way too long and you die so early anyway there's a lot of damage there's just so much unbalanced iron giant literally got taken out of the game there's so many other characters that are just busted and the balance is not there have i been getting used to the mechanics yes but that's why i missed the beta because they ruined a lot of things like i can't jump and cancel out of that attack now when I dodge and do an attack, it uses the dodge meter. If I'm in the burnout, I can be hit. It encourages passive gameplay, which I think can be fixed. Anyway, I could probably make a whole video on like specific details, but just from playing things I've seen, it doesn't feel good. Let me know if you guys agree with this. Some things I have to fix the game. Lowering lingering active abilities. 2v2s, every time I try to go in, after I watch someone swing and I wait, and I use a sniper punch maybe, it still lingers and hits me. Oh my God, there's a problem that I always face. Just random disconnects. Didn't touch anything. Oh, I'm still live, I'm still streaming. My internet's still working. This never happens in any other game. My idea is as soon, as, in, mainly for twos, as soon as someone hits someone with ability, your active frames on that ability lower drastically. Not to make it so that way if you're hitting two people at once, it won't work, but so that way, the lingering hitbox, when you have no skill of hitting, it doesn't hit. That's another one change. Uh, remove dodge attack, extra drain meter. What I'm talking about, I go like this. I'm already halfway done. So you only have four dodge meter. Why does the dodge meter look like that too? Give people six dodge meter maybe, if you're gonna do two. I don't know how you're gonna fix it, add more dodge meter. Honestly, add two more dodge meter and make it so dodges cost two, because right now, to like i don't understand that it's using one and then half of one so you can dodge six times make it so it's six so that way you can dodge attack three or three times and then make it so dodges take two cost two as well so you can dodge three times just make it three then and everything just takes one yeah you could do that as well do well true so that's an idea i have something along those lines to make the game feel more intense more exciting a little bit faster Looking to attack decay for some moves. I'm indifferent about attack decay. I don't know if it'll fix things. I personally believe that nerfing the ability and nerfing the broken ass combo might be a better option. And then look at it. Cause right now it's so bad that I don't know if adding attack decay will just randomly fix everything. I think at first they need to balance the actual busted ass moves and then see where the game's at. But 
Make smaller characters, hurt boxes bigger. I think it's so annoying. They have an advantage just because of their character and they're smaller in the show. Make them bigger, but make them heavier. Make tanks, tanks lighter. There's no reason to have tanks like that. I know he's Superman, he's always big. Oh, it should make sense, right? I don't care. Make them more in tune. If it's a little bit heavier, I don't mind, but it needs to be very similar. Same with the size, because then it puts everyone on an even playing field. Speaking of small characters, remove the heat-seeking like suction cup that those characters have. Stripe, Gizmo, uh, even Finn. I don't know why they have it. Melee jabs. Not any abilities, not any other abilities, but just jabbing. The side air and maybe just jabbing. Make those abilities more in tune and in range with other melee fighters. Like if you're a Finn, I'm not gonna approach you. I'm gonna wait till you swing because I can't win that. You might say, oh yeah, that's just how you have to play. I think it's boring. I think it'd be cool if you could feel like you could go in and trade with him at least. Maybe that's crazy. Maybe that won't work out but maybe slightly tune it if it's not like perfectly even, just a little bit slightly more. I don't know. That one's kind of, I'm kind of iffy on. Uh, lower hit stun drastically in like 25%. I think that would fix a lot of broken combos where you're just stuck. I don't know the exact percentage or how you do it, but right now it's just too much. It feels like it lags. It feels like I'm just mashing out of, they hit one ability, I'm just like fucking mashing out of it and like I can't, like, oh cool. I don't want the game to be about juggling your opponent out to death, zero to death. That's not fun. Like, because you, you learn that zero to death combo, boom, you already have it. Do you hit it all the time? No, but a lot of them are consist pretty consistent. Just remove that. Those are things that I think that could fix the game and make it better. Let me know your thoughts about it down below if you agree. Um, attack decay is not in the game. So before, if you just kept jabbing, doo -doo 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 -doo, you'd eventually hear that sound, attack decay. And that's when they can fall out of your combos. Attack Decay now, it's where your ability, if you hit the same ability over and over, it doesn't ruin your combos. So you, I could still keep jabbing and jabbing and jabbing if they're not dodging and they're just next to me. But it prevents the kill potential. So if you hit Sare, 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 like it's not going to be as strong. I don't know if it does it like, oh, less knockback, less knockback, or if it just like, Oh, you do 10 or five of those attacks, then it's like drastically reduced or if it's slowly. Last thing crazy, we're gonna talk about perks. Uh, the perk sets, I don't mind the perk sets. I don't like that the pre-made sets only have like the generic perk. Oh, there's another bug. I can't look at my perks. One, they said they're gonna remove perks and make them better. Removed unused ones and then make them better. One, they removed triple dump, which was a, a very used one. And they added in less. There's a few good ones, like the, the your dash attacks break armor. Airwalker is probably the only cool perk that actually changes your gameplay. I want to see more of that. Uh, I'm okay to have some perks like Last Stand, but I want there to be perks way more, like double. Like these are all the perks I they added less perks. It just feels like 5% movement speed. That's trash. That's boring. That's exactly the ones they were saying they were going to remove and make better. They did not. They just added the same ones. This like troll tactics one, I think it's cool and funny. I want more perks and I want them to be better. And I don't want them to change my entire character completely, but I want I want them to be different. I want them to actually change my playstyle like Airwalker. I want like 10 of those perks. Come on, go to the meeting room and figure out some ideas. It would really mean a lot. They also removed a Superman perk, up special, and then like the fire below. I want like five signature perk options. And then you go back to the drawing board. Hey, which ones, which ones are they using? Are they using any of these? Oh no, they're using the sandwich one way more than this one. Uh, overall crazies, I probably missed some things. Uh, the UI, I think visually it looks better, but it's not intuitive. It's taken me a long time to like get used to it. And even then, I still misclick a lot of times. They could just make it better. Those are the perks. Crazies, I think this game does a lot of good. I think it has a lot of bad. Um, I think they've made changes to the game to where it's not like making the game worse. So we're going to see what the future holds. And maybe we'll have another video on, you know, maybe a few months or next season. And my thoughts then, see if there's any improvements. But currently, the game is not in a great state. And I'm disappointed overall. They did a lot of good good things. I think the Unreal Engine 5, I think it looks better. I mean, it didn't need it, but I think it looks better. I think the netcode is better. I like the I like some of the new mechanics where uh, the like where you clash together and go apart. I think the rifts are a good idea, but we already talked about that. So there's a lot of good 
that they added. A lot of bad they took away, but crazies, let me know your thoughts down below in the description. Let me know uh, if I missed anything. Like, I want to hear your thoughts. If you disagree, if you agree, I want to hear it. I want to have that discussion because it's a discussion that needs to be had. And uh, I think it's a good, healthy discussion to make this game good. Because do I want this game to fail? Absolutely not. I want this game to succeed because it's a game that I'm making my content based out of. And I, I love the game at heart. I'll always love multiverses no matter what happens. But yeah, that's why I wanted to be a su succeed, be and that's why I'm frustrated. But with that, crazy, love you very much, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night. Good night and goodbye. Goodbye, crazy, love you, crazies.